um, I think, uh, I hope I'm not nervous. <laughs> so I have some couple of uh, questions. And, um, but before we go into the questions, I just want us to, I want to use this moment to appreciate Senior Pastor and um, First Lady. Church, let's celebrate them. Because I'm very sure most of the things we'll be talking about today, um, you'll be hearing things like Pastor preached one day. We had, uh, so, <laughs> so we need to acknowledge where we are copying from. So I'm, I mean, and you will not charge us for plagiarism and all of those things. Copyright. So, and copyright. <laughs> Praise God. So the first question tonight is, I mean, for Mr. Mayo Wawolabi, in the season when people are saying there's a casting down, I mean, the season where people are lamenting, dollar is, I mean, you, you are starting a real estate company. You have launch number one. You have launch number two. You are doing mega events. You are giving people plot of land. God so for us now. You, are you, are you, what's the principle behind the success in a season like this? When the person interviewing you is <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, first of all, good evening, everyone. Thank you so much, Pastor. Thank you so much, First Lady. We we love you. Thank you so much. Okay, so I think the root is to understand that life is full of cycles. That's the root. It means that if you have a lot of money today, there will be a cycle that there will not be another. You won't have that too much money. So you must understand that life is full of cycle. So when I left the bank in 2013, uh, that was exactly the year I also joined Royalty Christian Center. It was a year I, I needed to take some drastic decision in my life. And it began to gain flesh as I study finance. You see, in this part of the world, I see people talk about money, but they don't study money. You see, challenges everywhere, but people don't want to talk about money. But that led me to say, I need to understand this particular component called money. So as I understood money more, I discovered that money is an exchange of value. And if you know that it is value, you must also know that there's a premium and there's a premium delivery of value that can make you make more money. Mm. So as people are talking that there is no money right now, it is you that you don't have money. Mm. Nobody moved the money from Lagos. <laughs> the money is in Lagos. The only challenge is that the, 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 uh, the panel or the, the conduit is not coming to your side. Mm. So you need to find a way to construct it that you will reconstruct the bridge or the road as they are passing, as the bullion van is passing around, it should pass your address. Wow, let's celebrate it, let's <laughs> celebrate it. So what I have done is just that I created a value that people will need and they will come to me. So you, and people will say, oh, does that mean that what I have, see, anything you have is enough which is what Peter did at the, at the entrance. Or God give us money. He said, no. He said, what I have is more than money. Mm. So everyone in this church, we have something. We have something that is heavy. So the question is, have we studied a cycle, mm. a pattern that we can use to make more money? Mm. So for example, you're a fashion designer. Somebody is making hundred thousand dollars. Okay, let's come back home. Ten thousand US dollars every month. And you, you are doing five hundred thousand or five fifty thousand naira every month. Mm. You know there is a challenge. Mm. You must know that that person knows something that you don't know. Mm. It means that you need to look for that information that can make your value go up and you can use that value to collect the money you are looking for. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. So what do you have? What value 
can you exchange yes, the money in my pocket for right? Yes, yes that's, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> Are you feeling stuck and overwhelmed by financial challenges and unsure of how to scale your business to a new heights? The Money and Business Growth Package is a comprehensive solution designed to turn your aspiration into a reality. Get access to our exclusive courses on money and business, which include money mindset, skills to make money in this century, money capsule series, habits to build wealth, know, like, and trust model concept of sales, and lots more. Call 0904-999-0004 or 0904-999-0005 to get started. So you are into investment, you are into a whole lot of stuff. And because of season like this, when so-called, you know, that's not our own case anyway, the economy is ash. You see a lot of Ponzi scheme going around and all of those things. Is it because of the volatility of the season? Is that the reason why you went into real estate? And what are the challenges too from <laughs> what we have known you for to diversify? And how have you been able to manage it too? Okay. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Mm. I think the first thing if a business person in this church, you must not miss first service. Mm. in this church. Mm. I think that's the first thing. Mm. Let's because... celebrate, so please, let's celebrate pastor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you must not. If you really want to grow, mm. as a matter of fact, if you are just joining us, just go to the media and order five years morning, 52 weeks, 52 Sundays, mm. um, first service, mm. and play it as if it's a business school. Mm. The rest is history. So for me, uh, I think I understood the fact that if you really want to, wealth building is different from making money. Mm. So a lot of time people talk about, I, 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 last month I made 10 million. Ah. Mm. Two months ago I, I made 2 million. Mm. So people talk about how much they make, but they really don't talk about how much they are worth. So the difference is that the collections of your assets is what makes you wealthy. I'll say it again. So, when you define wealth, it means that how many hours do you have? How many gold do you have? How many crypto assets do you have? How many stocks do you have? How many deeds do you have? So, when you mention all those things, that's what makes you what. And anything that is called assets, it means that you can transfer it into financial money and you can spend it. So, a lot of time, we always talk about how much we make as money. So I haven't learned that as I make money, I must find a way to spread it. And like Minister Shell said, we must have multiple streams of income. So the question now is, if I'm making, for example, I'm making a millionaire every single month, mm. this is the time. I posted on my Facebook wall the other time, and I said that if you're an entrepreneur, you do not have pension. Mm. Nobody is paying you pension. And if you are working somewhere, if you feel that you have pension, you are in trouble. Because they will not give you the money until you are 30-something 30, 30 years or 40-something years mm. after. Mm. And the 120, maybe 100, maybe 10 million they've given you in your entire pension mm. will not buy the same 10 million that they, when the money was mm. 10 million. Mm -hmm. So in the real sense, you don't even have pension. Mm. So if you are not deliberate with how much, what you are doing with what you make, you will not have money. You will not have money. You will complain. Today there will be up. Mm. Tomorrow it will be down. Mm. So when people talk about financial, uh, uh, there is no money in the circulation or there is no money, it means that when there was money, you did not have good habits to hold it. So right now, let's say for example, everything is really, people are complaining right now. This is the time you should be prudent. It means that I'm collecting salary of 100,000 naira. I can save at least 10 to 20,000 naira minimum. And if your age is more than 35, you can't do 20. Because <laughs> you can't do 20. Because it's not the same. It's not the same. School fees is not the same. You remember, that six years old, you'll be 15 years old soon. You'll be paying university fee. So you can't do the same. You must 
be projective. So what I decided to do is that as I make money, what are the things I can use to multiply my money? And I discover from history that one of the things that made people wealthy is land. So it means that all I need to do is to be buying land. So I'll give you a short case study. There's a man. See, anything you want to do, make sure you have somebody that has succeeded in it. Anything. Make sure. If nobody has succeeded, there's still room for you to stop now. Somebody must have succeeded. So if you're a fashion designer and you don't know somebody that has succeeded in fashion designer, stop. Go and look for something else. Not because it's, I don't want to be asked, but I want us to know that that is the mirror. One of my mentors said, if you enter an office, just ask the, the highest staff, let's, the person that has spent like 10 years, go and ask, check the future of that person. If the person does not have car, in your own 10 years, you too, you will not have car. Mm. If the person does not have a house, in your own 10 years, too, you too, you will not have house. Mm. But when you enter an office, the person say, ah, I spent 15 years here. I have so, 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 you know, there's future here. So that is the same thing you should do to yourself. Mm. So as you are making money, you ask yourself, what are the things? So, for example, I studied five wealthy people around the world, and I realized a lot of them, they hide their money in land. For example, a man called Bill Gates. A lot of us like Bill Gates because of Microsoft. But can I also help you today that Bill Gates hides his money in lands, he is the highest farm owner of land in, Af in, in the United States. Yeah. He has 272,000 hectares. Mm. So what it means is that before the government go there, he has bought over 200,000 mm. hectares mm. of land. Mm. So if this United States government says they want to go to one area, he's already there before they come. Mm. So Forget Microsoft. It's not even part of his wealth. But imagine 250, some, 70 something thousand hectares that in he America. has in America. Mm. So let's come back home. I studied a man called uh, uh, Eliganza. That's um, Oko, uh, Okoya. Mm. He bought, in 1980s, he bought a place called Okwebi. <laughs> now, when he bought Okwebi, 10 years after, he bought Alausa. 20 years after, he sold Okwebi. And when he sold Okwebi, he went to buy uh, uh, Aja. So I'm asking myself, why is he selling Okwebi to go and buy Aja? And he bought that Aja 10 years ago. So what he will do is that he will go to a bush, he will buy the place, he will give it some years to grow, he will sell and go and buy another bush. So it means that it's all, of, it's all about bush. Mm. <laughs> so I studied him and I said, okay, so he sold Okwebi, he bought VGC. He sold Alausa where he is some years ago. He went to buy Ekwe. So that means that throughout his age, he, can, he was not poor. Mm. As large as he is, he can never be poor because part of the money he is making is mm. putting it in land. So as I trade Forex, as I trade crypto, people say maybe because of the volatility, but the truth is that it's not also wise that you put all your money in one stock of value. Mm. Good. As crypto is, it's so amazing, but it's a cycle. Again, mm. cycle. Mm. So the cycle is two years of harvest, two years of complaint, mm. two years of harvest, Two years of complaint. Now, we have entered two years of um, harvest now. Between now and next year now, people will be talking, ah, I'm a crypto millionaire. I'm a crypto millionaire. Mm. After that two years again, it will go down again. <laughs> so if you understand the pattern, mm. you put the money inside. When the money grow, remove it and put it into other businesses that can hold it, and you're good to go. Okay. So just a follow-up. So now, I mean... With what you've been doing before, managing the two, what has, how have you been able to manage it successfully? So I was with a mentor two, two, three weeks ago. And like I do tell you, you cannot grow further than the people that talk to you. I'll say that again. No matter how much you want to grow, mm. the people that are talking to your life, 
if they are not growing, mm. you will not also what? You will not also grow. So I sat, I went for that private meeting. I meet with him once every three, every, once every two months. And in that session, we got talking. And I was asking him, sir, I'm entering a, a stage in my life that I think I need more than 24 hours. <laughs> and he smiled. And he said, my wife, you can't get 24 hours. Mm. This is how it's done. So he reestablished to me, which is what I know before, that whenever you are expanding, you must leverage on three things. Number one, quickly, leverage on people. What mm. Mr. Minister Shell mentioned is that you leverage on people. Mm. Instead of him going to learn a Greek from scratch, mm. who has a Greek and is already successful? Mm. Can he build tents mm. with him? And it is what has happened in the scriptures. There is no Lot without Abraham. Mm. If Lot just used brain, it's like, it's like this is the man that is carrying it. Mm. And he built tents mm. with him. Mm. Uh -huh. And so in real life, if you are becoming big, you must ask yourself, who can I build tents with? Mm. So build tents with somebody who is already doing well in that industry that you want to build it. Number two, leverage on collaboration. A lot of time, you don't need to be the CEO. You see, in this Nigeria, we like CEO too much. We like title. <laughs> yeah? You like title. But you don't have to be the CEO. Mm. Just like I told them in my office, our plan, what we are currently running is five years plan. I told them once we are five years, I'm going to drop as the CEO of the company. Just keep using founder for me. So when we came into this year, our goal this year is to build a system. And I told them that stop using CEO for me. I'm no more CEO. I want to be prepared myself for the next two years. But the question is that who am I leaving the company for? The truth is I've built some people for the past two, three, five years that have learned from me and they believe in me. Mm. All I just need to do is, okay, take 20% uh, of the company. I keep some percentage mm. and let the rest of percentage be managed by board of directors. So what I have done basically is that I have built a system, which is the third um, one. Build the what? The build the system. So that you are not going to be everywhere. You are, you are not El Shaddai. You can't be everywhere at the same time. Yeah. So when you have a system, the system will... You see, I was in a meeting in um, two, about 2006 in Desta. They did Desta something, something. Is a, is a skill acquisition. So I went for that training about 13 years ago. And in that training, the man that came to speak said, he, they said he owns 40 companies in Ghana. How many companies? You guys don't like money. How many companies? 40. So I'm asking myself, the now said that when they were bringing in from the airport, the now said, ah, Nigeria is so rich, oh, that you need to come and start these two companies by next year. I said, ah, I said, me, I've not even started that then. I said, me, I've not even started. You want to get two again to make it 42. And from what I heard, they only give to him one A4 paper every week mm. as a report. Mm. So that got me curious. And I moved again. And I studied another man called uh, the owner of Virgin, Richard Branson. Mm. He has over 400 companies. Wow. And me, I say, me and you, you are still managing one. Eh? God will open <laughs> our eyes. Let's, let's pause so, there. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, yes, sir. Are your financial goals just out of reach? What if you had access to a community that provides strategic investment opportunities in crypto, stocks, and real estate? Welcome to Wealthgate, where your aspiration of building substantial net worth become achievable. Imagine the power of making informed investment decisions with the backing of expert advice and a supportive network. At Wealthgate, we offer exclusive opportunities to invest in high growth potential assets. Whether it's the latest in crypto, promising stocks or lucrative real estate, we provide the insights you need to thrive. Step into a future where your investments are working for you, steadily building your net worth. Join a community committed to your financial success and transform your wealth building aspirations into tangible achievements. With Wealthgate, you're not just investing, you're creating a legacy of financial prosperity. Start your journey today 
and unlock the full potential of your investments. Call the numbers showing on your screen to get started. In 30 seconds, Mr. Iowa, how has your faith been able to, just in 30 seconds, because of our time, how has your faith been able to... It's a long affect? one, Pastor. <laughs> you okay, want the 30 so seconds version, please. Faith. Faith. I think the first thing I, that helped me is I still went to study those that are successful. Mm. Me. In our office... Either you are a Muslim, you are a Christian, on Wednesday you must fast. Mm. Mm. By 12 o'clock, either you want to go to the toilet or you are anything. Once it is 12, today is Wednesday now, we are all in the praying room. Mm. You like it or you leave it. See, let's celebrate Mr. See, Mayawa. You see, if you know where you are coming from, mm, mm. where you are going to is not far. Mm. Just go and ask questions. Mm. I have a man that was studying some years ago who said he does not see lights mm. for two days, Mondays and Wednesdays, uh, Mondays and Tuesdays. He does not see the sun. Mm. But whenever he comes out on Wednesday morning, customers are waiting. Wow. He said that he knows that some people, they used to go and do bad things. But he, he can't do anything bad. But he must stand in the presence of God every week. And the business is more than 10, 15 years now. As a matter of fact, he started as a contractor. He will not go out on Monday. He will not go out on Tuesday. And by Wednesday, Thursday, people will be fighting to give him business. Wow. So I'm asking myself, what is this character? What is this up and down? I will resume seven. I will close seven. Mm. Who says, he said he's the one that make it rich and added no sorrow. Mm. Pastor preached a message one time, Jeremiah 33 verse 3. He said, call on to me and I will show you the hidden and secret um, things. Mm. And I said to myself, okay, so it, it's like we are not calling. So he's not showing us the secret thing. Mm. So for me, I have, I call them my spiritual rituals. I might not have to share that with you, but you have to identify your own. Mm. Some of us, we have a time we fast, we have a time we don't go out, we have a time we stay indoor, not because of anything, because if you can declare, because I was sharing with someone, I said, who knew Joseph? Mm. Somebody went to recommend him. Mm. Who knew what? So if you check all the people that had become successful even in the scripture days, it's all about recommendation. And all those recommendations, they were not there. Mm. So why are you trying to be there mm. when you know that you cannot even help yourself? So wow. those places, somebody must stand for you and say, I know if you give it to him, he will do it. Let's celebrate, Mr. Mayowa. Let's celebrate them. We can do better. We can do better. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Pastor. Thank you, Lord. Thank you very much. Thank you, Lord.